I'll moderate from over cool. here. So you guys know the drill, get your hands raised, and uh, we'll go ahead and get it started for Connor. So Bill Pollock, it looks like you're up first here, big dog. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Connor. Hey, just talk about some of the challenges and how difficult it is to come into a game when you're you're down a couple of scores. Yeah, I mean, for, for me, it's I don't pay attention to that. I just go in with the mentality of uh, taking the ball down the field and scoring points. And no matter what the score is or what the situation is, um, that's my mindset. I'm going to take, take the offense down the field, put points on the board. Peter Baugh, Peter, go ahead. Hi, Connor. How did the coaches kind of, I guess, present to you the game plan of like, was the plan always for you to start the second quarter and then see what happened after that? Or like, did you know kind of going in that you were going to get more than one series in the second quarter? Um, I think I didn't really know the, the plan, but like I said, I was, I was ready. I knew that I was going to eventually get, get some series. Um, so I was just staying ready and prepared. And how do you kind of evaluate how you, you played today? Um, I thought there was some ups and downs, but uh, in, 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 in the end, we got to put points on the board in the red zone. That's what we focused on all week. And um, three points isn't enough down in the red zone. We got to score touchdowns and can't turn the ball over. Dave Matter, Dave, go ahead. Connor, you never seemed too rattled out there. You had the one where you missed the snap and still completed the pass to Kiki. Just how did you feel as far as just your nerves go out there? I was cool, calm, and collected. I don't get very nervous. Um, just stay, stay in poise. And um, I think the offense kind of rallies around that when they see uh, the quarterback just staying calm. Um, they kind of play, play, play with it. Mitch 40. Mitch, go ahead. Connor, I'm curious. I know you, you know you obviously were recovering from an injury during the off season, and and there's been you know at, at least a split, if not Sean getting some more reps maybe with the first team during practices lately. How much experience do you have playing with this first team offense? I have a lot. I mean, the coaches have done a great job of um, getting us ready, getting me ready, getting Sean ready uh, to play with the guys that are going to be out there. So the, I I don't have any doubt that I can that I ha don't have enough reps with the ones or. Yeah. Suichi, go ahead. Connor, what was, what was the feeling like uh, actually playing such extended snaps? I believe that was the longest you've played in college football games without, you know, injuries or garbage time or anything like yeah. that. So, uh, it was, I mean, it was fun to be out there. Obviously, the outcome wasn't what we wanted at all. Um, but just being out there and um, playing with the guys, moving the ball down the field, um, it was, it was it was good to be out there, but we got to do better in, in all uh, assets of our offense, and um, got to put got to put more points on the board. Eric Blum, Eric, go ahead. Hey Connor, can you walk us through that fourth down where you found uh, Logan down the field? Was that supposed to be another play at first, or how did you find her? What what happened there? Um, yeah, well, I knew it was fourth down, and the play was. I was supposed to go to the flat, and they just there was a bunch of guys there, so I just had to make a play. Um, I saw Logan kind of going down the field, and that was kind of the only option I had to get a first down. So just gave him a chance, and he made a nice play. I got time for three more for Connor. Jack Sobel, go ahead. Connor, one of your first drives, you had to throw to Hazelton in a really tight window uh, on a right corner route. Can you take us through the through your progressions in that play and kind of what you're seeing there? Yeah, um, I'm really just reading. I was just reading the corner. He kind of sat on the flat, um, so I knew if I would, if I uh, put my eyes to the flat, that the corner would kind of come down, and I knew Dame was going to be open um, in the in the in the corner window. He made a nice play. Clint Switzer, Clint, go ahead. Hey Connor, can you just take us through uh, the interception? Obviously, looking for Daniel Parker there. The safety looks like he kind of read your eyes there and then yeah. stayed with it to take us through kind of what you saw on that play. Yeah. Well, um, he made, he made a great play on it and I never really saw him until he, until he picked it off. So, you know, that's on me, uh, to, I got to verify that there's a guy there. Um, I under threw it a little bit, but like I said, it's just another mistake that, and I don't know where the ball was. I, th I think we were inside the 30, um, just another mistake in the red zone that, can't have.
All right, we'll close it for Connor with a question from Andrew Kaufman. Andrew, you're up. Hey, Connor, just uh, what's that competition battle been like between you and Sean, and how has that, you know, maybe made you guys both better? Uh, Sean's been great, and I've been great to Sean, I think. And I think we really, both of us, we really just want what's best for the team, and we want to win. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, we don't really care who's out there playing quarterback. Obviously, we would love to be out there winning games, leading the offense. But if, if it's Sean, then I'm going to support him uh, and try to win games. And I'm sure he would do the same. All right, guys. We'll let Connor go with that one. Thanks. We'll bring Larry in here in a minute. So. Thanks, guys.